Ladies and gentlemen, how are you?、Uh, today, my topic is about implementing virtual strategies, part three. In part three, I'm going to cover the virtual strategies issues such as、uh, distant workshop issues and evaluation issues. Okay, now distant workshop issue, issues. According to Gibson, 1997, distant workshop requires tasks such as the videos, computers, via satellite audio apparatus, and other newly developed technologies. Okay, so how to reach potential workshop participants? Here, we use audio conferencing,、uh, audio graphics like. Combined with audio conferencing,、uh, video conferencing classes, example synchronous or asynchronous classes,、uh, print-based instruction in conjunction with audio and video conferencing, worldwide web technologies, www, and CD-ROM and multimedia. These are for the remote workshop. Okay. According to Gibson, when designing a workshop for distance learners, the following guidelines should take into consideration. So, what are they? Number one,、uh, I'm going to talk. About is the unique design considerations, which、uh, include learner factors, nature of uh, uh, learning activities, and the media selection. Okay. Now, first of all, learning factors. Learner factors. So, learner factors is assess students' needs, age, characteristic, gender, ethnicity, disabilities, learning preferences, etc. Now, next one is nature of learning activities, which define learning goals and objectives, and identify the learning activities、uh, which is necessary. So, question is, you can ask such as, what does learner need to see,、uh, hear, feel, and do to accomplish the learning goals of the workshop? All right. Now, next media selection. Question you can ask like. Which media enables、uh, students to accomplish the desired needs and aims, which、uh, arrive in the maximal effectiveness and involve in minimal cost for the learners? Okay. So, what are other assessors that、um, could also be useful on this workshop? These are the assessors. Number one, technical support. Number two, instructor support. Number three, learner support. Number four, administrative support. Okay, now come to my next issue is evaluation. According to Andrew, nineteen ninety seven, the key elements that need to address are time, format, curriculum, and methods. So the virtual format is a skill training that consists of instruction plus hands-on experience. Okay, okay.、Uh, Andrew suggests that there are some old myths concerning the use of evaluation in education program for adult assist over the years. Such as the program, the all means such as program rely on past participants' feedback, whether good or bad. The all means such as no evaluation or accreditation is needed. The all means such as、um, fees paid by the learners themselves, therefore, should not subject to、uh, tests or examinations.、Um, All means such as administrators who are the decision maker on budget, personnel, and materials and other resources needs. Okay. All means such as certifying and regulatory、uh, regulatory agencies. They meet、uh, the specified criteria and standards. And program developers must co incorporate the needs into the workshop curriculum. All these are all means. Okay. Are adopted by Andrew, nineteen ninety seven. So now the modern types of evaluation include the individual evaluations, program, organizational, and of course performance evaluation. Okay. Ah,、uh, so the evaluation is used for example for course evaluation, for evaluation for the conferences or seminars, evaluations for the continuing education. Okay. A、uh, person who ah、uh, evaluate can be the instructor, the participants, and the professional or the Employer or the third party. Okay, today virtual learning has meaningful evaluations and quality assurance, measuring adult learning activities with new knowledge and positive attitudes. So、uh, the adult and continuing education is viewed as a process of lifelong learning,、uh, focusing on individuals' means of personal growth and fulfillment. So and finally, Andrew, nineteen ninety seven, ah, quote that adult learners have moved from moved from a position of fearing assessment and evaluation in their learning activities to one of demanding、uh, assessment of learning outcomes and verification of quality. Okay. In conclusion, today we have learned for distance workshop. So how to reach potential participants? 
are guidelines for designing a distant workshop like learner consideration, native of learning activities and media selection. Okay? The key elements that need to address for evaluation of a, a time, format, curriculum and methods. So as new expectations from industry and stakeholders are growing and renewing, so program planners must access to a comprehensive needs assessments and evaluation process. Okay, this conclude my today's topic on implementing workshop strategies part three, and my next topic will be politics as an expression of adult education. Okay, stay tuned and thank you for listening and goodbye.